Now I would like to call upon the stage a group of students of Averroes to pray tribute to our great nation through speeches and a poem. Today, I want to take you on a journey through the rich history of our beloved country, a history filled with struggle, sacrifice, and victory. A history that is not just a collection of dates and events, but a testament to the struggle and resilience of our people. Let's start with the language movement. In 1952, our people rose up against the imposition of Urdu as the sole national language. They marched, protested, and ultimately gave their lives to preserve our right to speak our mother tongue. This struggle for our language laid the foundation for our national identity. And we honor it every year on International Mother Language Day. The spirit of the language movement continued to burn in the hearts of our people, leading up to the Liberation War of 1971. Our country was under the yoke of Pakistani operation. And it was time to fight for our independence. Millions of Bangladeshis joined the struggle and our freedom fighters gave their lives for the cause. Their bravery and sacrifice led to the birth of our nation and we celebrate our Independence Day every year in their honor. Our founding father, Bongo Bondu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, played a pivotal role in our journey towards independence. He envisioned a free and prosperous Bangladesh and worked tirelessly to make it a reality. His leadership and guidance inspired us all and we will forever be grateful for his contributions. The path to our freedom was not easy, but it was worth it. The, it was the sacrifice of our freedom fighters that gave us our independence, and we must never forget their bravery and commitment to our cause. Victory Day is a reminder of their courage and determination and a celebration of our victory over the oppressors. But our duty does not end with our victory. It is up to us to build Bangladesh that our freedom fighters dreamed of. We must work towards a country that is prosperous, equitable, and just. We must honor our history by continuing to fight for the rights and freedoms for our people. In conclusions, our history is not just a story of struggle, but also a story of victory. It is a story of people who refused to be silent, who fought for their rights, and who ultimately prevailed. Let us honor our past by severing for a better future for ourselves and for generations to come. Thank you. What's mother language? Let me tell you. It means a language through which the people of a nation express their ideas, thoughts, feelings, and emotions clearly. And we do that in Bangla. Bangla reminds us of the 21st of February. Everyone knows what happens on this day in 1952. This day is very special, dear to our hearts. It reflects a part of our long, glorious history. It reflects our victory over the oppressors. Our hearts leaped with joy when 21st February was declared as International Mother Language Day by UNESCO to show due honor and respect to the mother languages of different people the world across. The objective of us observing this day is to pay homage to the language martyrs. 
They lay down their lives, but us, what are we doing for Bangla? We feel ashamed of it. We mix it up with English to sound posh. We lose sleep over learning English and what not. What a sorry state we are in. Simply speaking, a particular language doesn't make you smarter or cleverer. Your smartness comes from your knowledge, and knowledge can be acquired in any language in the world. All languages are essentially created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Quran says, and of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of our languages and your colors. Indeed, in that are signs for those of knowledge. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying learn a different language and go to jail. It is okay to learn how other nations get their message across. I just want to say, don't forget our hearts speak in Bangla. Our hearts rejoice in Bangla. Our hearts weep in Bangla. Without Bangla, we cannot prosper. Without Bangla, we will not be heard by the world. Without Bangla, we are just another nation lost in the pit of history. Thank you. Ami Zarifa, Abriti Korchi, Nural Dinere Kotha Mane Pore Jai. Dikhachan Soyot Shamsul Haak. Nilok Haakash Nil. Hajar Hajar Tara Oi Nira Agonito Ar Niche Gram, Ganjo, Hat, Janapad Lokaloi Aache Unnushottar Hajar Dhabul Dudher Mat Jotna Tar Dhali Te Chachad Purni Maar Nashto Khet, Nashto Maar Nodi Nashto, Bij Nashto Baro Nashto Jakhun Shamshar Jakhun Hatat Kano Dekha Dai Nilok Khar Nile Tee Brashish Te तबारो चांद, उदिया को शांत, स्ताब दोतार देखो छिरे, कौन थोड़े, कौन शब्दों, किशेर प्रोपात, गोल हो या आशुन शकुले, खानो हो या आशुन शकुले, आमार बिनोती आज स्थिर हो ये बोशु शकुले, उती थोड़ा थाते हना दे मानुषेर बंधु दारो जाए एतिब रोशन चपुर्णी माय नूरों दिनेर कथा माने पुरे जाए काल घूम जखून बांगलाए तार दीर को देहों ने आबा नूरों दिन देखा दे मोरांगी आए नूरों दिनेर बाड़ी रंग पुरे जे चिलो रंग पुरे नूरों दिन एक दिन डाक दिए चिलो ऐगरोशु उन्होंने पुरी शाने आबार बांगलार बुची पुरे जाए माने नुराल दिनेर कथा माने पुरे जाए जखून शकुन ने में आशे शोनार बांगला है नुराल दिनेर कथा माने पुरे जाए जखून आमा शपनो लूट हुए जाए नुराल दिनेर कथा माने पुरे जाए जखून आमा र कांठो बाजियाप तो पुरे निये जाए नुराल दिनेर कथा माने पुरे जाए जखून आमा री देशे ये आमा री दहुसे के रक्त छोले जाए इतिहास आज ये प्रशस्त प्राण तारे जखून सूतीर दूध जो चिन्ह शक्ति छोड़े पड़े तकुन के थके घूमे के थके भितोले के ऐका निशांग बशोस्त पास करे शमोस्त मरी रोस्तु अपुशेशे ब्रोंको पुत्रों में नुराओ दिनेर कथा जनों शारा देशे बाहरी ढोले मतों ने में ऐशे शमोस्त भाषा ओभागा मानोश जनों जेगो उठे आबार याशाय जाबा अनुराग दिन एक दिन आशीर्वाद बांगलाय आबा अनुराग दिन एक दिन काल पूर्णी माय दीपे डाक जागो बाहे कौन थे शबा धन्यवाद The brave freedom fighters who fought for the liberation of Bangladesh were inspired by these poems and many others. They were motivated by their love for their country and their determination to achieve freedom. And speaking of Bangladesh, it's hard not to talk about the beautiful nature that surrounds us. From the hills and mountains in the north to the beaches in the south, Bangladesh is blessed with natural beauty that is second to none. The rivers that flow through Bangladesh are not just sources of water, but they are the lifeblood of the country. 
They nourish the land and the people, and they have played a vital role in shaping the history and culture of Bangladesh. And let's not forget about the hardworking people of Bangladesh, who are the backbone of the country. They are the farmers who work in the fields, the artisans who create beautiful handicrafts, and the entrepreneurs who are driving the economy forward. Bangladesh is a land of diversity, where people of different religions, cultures, and backgrounds live and work together in harmony. So, as we, end this, as we are in the end of this tribute, we want to thank Allah for blessing, with, blessing us with such a beautiful country and such resilient and determined people. We pray that Bangladesh will continue to prosper and flourish and that its people will continue to inspire us all. Bangladesh is a land that is unique in many ways. The people here are known for their warmth and hospitality, and they always welcome visitors with open arms. And let's not forget about the children of Bangladesh, who are the future of the country. They are the ones who will carry on the traditions and values of their ancestors, and they will shape the destiny of Bangladesh in the years to come. Bangladesh is a country that is full of life and energy, from the bustling cities to the quiet villages. There is always something happening here. And so, we end this tribute by thanking Allah for his blessings and for giving us such a wonderful country to call home. We pray that Bangladesh will continue to thrive and that its people will continue to shine brightly for all the world to see.